Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. And of course, happy October. I have a brand new book to share with you today. And this book is The Quacken. It's written by Justin Cologne, and it's published by Simon & Schuster. And we want to thank them for allowing us to share this book with you today. And this book is great for this month because it's kind of spooky, has a little bit of mystery. So are you ready to get started and find out what this book is all about? All right. Beware. The Quacken. And do you see all those missing things? Do you see that list of all those things that are missing? Balls, spikes. Hmm. Something strange was happening at Cucamonga Campground. What do you think is happening? There's a little note here that says, do not feed the ducks. Legend had it that a creature lurked in the lake, a fearsome, ferocious, frightening creature. Some said it swallowed canoes, campers, even whales, whole. But Hector didn't believe the legend. All he saw in the lake were cute, cuddly, quacking ducks. Hector was, Hector was warned. Don't go near the ducks. Don't look at the ducks. Don't even think about the ducks. And whatever you do, do not feed the ducks. But the ducks looked hungry. It's a little sign. Don't feed the ducks. Do you think you should feed the ducks? Hmm. So when nobody was looking, Hector broke the most important rule of all. Ducks flocked from near and far. Dozens of ducks. Oodles of ducks. Ducks upon ducks. I guess he decided to feed them, huh? Soon Hector was all out of food. He found one last crumb and tossed it into the lake. Plink. And then, what do you see? Do you see that shadow? What does it look like? What do you think is going to happen? The wind howled. The water rippled. The ground shook. Everything went dark. It was. The Quacken. Its wings were so wide they blocked out the sun. Its feet were so powerful they flattened latrines. Its bill was so big it swallowed an entire canoe. Actually two. And it was still hungry. Goodness. Hector sprinted toward safety. Finally, camp was quiet. Too quiet. He watched for signs of the bird, and the bird watched back. Quack! Luckily for Hector, there was a park ranger nearby. Mr. Mr., an enormous duck is trying to eat me. Wait a minute. The wig, the bushy mustache, the big oversized glasses. Hey, you're no park ranger. What's he going to do? What do you think is going to happen? Hmm. Do you have any thoughts? Quack. Hector stumbled through the deep dark woods until he discovered the perfect hideaway. He boarded up the windows and barricaded the doors. Nothing would be able to get in or out. Whew. Safe at last. Ring, ring, ring. There's a telephone. Did you know that? That doesn't look like a cell phone, does it? Hello? Silence. Hello? No one responded. 
Hector shivered. Hello, who is there? See the duck? See the quacking? Quack! The quacking scooped Hector up. Sniff, sniff, lick, lick. Black. Hmm. Don't think you like Hector. Hmm. It turns out children taste terrible. The children taste terrible. And that's how Hector escaped the quacking and lived to tell the tale. Hmm. See that? All those missing signs disappeared too. Legend has it that a giant duck lurks in the lake at Cucamonga Campground. It's fearsome, ferocious, frightening. But for some reason, it hasn't been spotted since. Hmm. What do you see? A little duck and a big shadow. Hmm. What? So, what did you think about this story? Do you think the quacking was real? What, do you, what are your thoughts about it? Let me know on our Instagram page. And if you'd like, come in and check out this book. I'm happy to share it with you. And definitely come in and visit us. I will be back next week with more books to share about October and fall. So until then, everybody have a great weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.